Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope you had a wonderful and fabulous holiday. I know I've been gone for a while, but I was out of town for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year. So I really miss doing the videos. I missed you guys, but I am back. And today I'm going to be talking about Amazon's Publisher Studio. I guess you could call it a plugin. It's really cool. I mean, it allows you to add affiliate links onto your site right from the live view of your site without having to be on Amazon's site. So you don't have to log in, grab the code, and then paste it and all that. I'm going to show you how it works. And then at the end of the video, as cool as I think this is, I'm going to talk about why I probably won't use this. So the first thing you're going to do is go to amazon.com slash associates. You have to join the program if you haven't already. I do believe you have to have an active site before you're accepted. And then you're going to come over to the Publisher Studio tab. And as you can see, they're still in beta. So the first thing you're going to have to do is set this up. It's very easy. Just come down here and create an instance. So let's just name it whatever your site is called. So how about that? And say generate code. So now you're going to get some code that needs to go on your site. Now, if you use Genesis or another theme that has its own set of settings, you'll probably have to go to your themes, theme settings in WordPress. If you don't have a theme settings, then you're going to have to go to appearance, editor, and then put the code in your footer.php file. But hopefully you have some type of settings for your theme. So I use Genesis, so I'm going to go to theme settings. And all the way at the bottom, there's a place for me to add code to my footer. So I'm just going to paste that code in the footer. Now I need to go back to Amazon and make sure I have enabled this tool. So here it is right here where you say enable toolbar. Toolbar enabled. So we're ready to go. So that's it. The tool is set up and it's ready to use. So now when you launch your site or when you go to your site, you will see a toolbar up here that you can drag around. If you see a sign in link, then click the sign in link and it will sign you in. And then you should be able to see this tag button right here. So I'm going to select tab and it's going to automatically put me in page mode. I didn't like the theater mode, so I always use page mode. So I just created this little dummy page here. As you can see, it says, I love my Canon printer and then blah, 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 blah. So let's say I had a site about printers and I want to link to some Amazon products. So all I have to do is select the words Canon printer with my mouse and right away it brings up these various Canon printers. So let's just say this is the one that I own. I can click it and boom, it made a link. And then I can edit or delete it if I want. You can also do the same for pictures. So I can click the picture search for a product and Canon printer and then there's the printer so now both of these items are now linked to my affiliate link it's that easy so let me tell you what I don't like about this plugin it's very cool I love the fact that this works without having to log in to Amazon and grab the code but I don't like the fact that this technology is hosted on another site. So what if the publisher studio was down or there's an error? Is it going to affect the loading time of my site? What's going to happen to these links? I would presume they just won't be links, which is no big deal. But the other thing is you're also adding code to your footer. So that may have a slight impact on your site's loading time. I'm on dedicated hosting, so I haven't really noticed anything different there, but you may notice a slight lag. The good thing is it's loading in your footer versus your header. So that'll help a little bit, but I don't know. I think I'll probably just continue using the old fashioned way or Chris Guthrie's easy Azon plugin to add my links. So what do you guys think? And if you want some more information about how I use Amazon and how I make money with Amazon, I have a blog post that I put out the same day that I launched this video. So check the description, click the link, and I go into far more detail on Amazon. I don't earn a killing on Amazon, but I did have a record year last year. And hey, it pays some bills. So make sure you check out the link in the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to my blog 
to createawebsite.com slash subscribe. I may not be on YouTube all the time, but I'm always updating my blog regularly. And that's how you can keep up with the latest and greatest on making money online and affiliate marketing and all that stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful new year and a great 2014. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.